Alaska is quickly becoming one of my favorite places to travel. And today I'm gonna to share with you a few things you need to know if you are planning a trip to Alaska in 2021. is Christy the Gen X Gypsy and today I'm so excited to be bringing you some information from Alaska. If you're planning a trip to Alaska this year there are a few things that are very important for you to know specifically for 2021. Number one is how are you getting there? It appears that there are not going to be any cruises in Alaska this year. Most likely you are going to have to fly and maybe drive, although Canada is not really letting people through either. So at this point, it looks like most of the people coming to Alaska this year are going to have to fly. When you fly, you are going to have to wear your mask. You have to wear your mask all through the airports and during your flights. Be prepared for a long day of mask wearing. You also need to prepare to bring your own food on those flights. A lot of the restaurants don't have enough employees to open fully. You are kind of stuck with getting stuff at the newsstand, which is never really good food. I would plan to bring some snacks with you. Number two, there are almost no rental cars, or if you get a rental car, it's gonna be super, super expensive. We're talking three to $4,000 a week, yikes. Some of the options that you can do are um, renting a U-Haul. I've seen quite a few U-Haul vans driving around and know a couple of people that that's the option that they went with. Also, you can try out the Turo.com app. It's T-U-R-O and I'll see if I can find it and link it below. Turo.com, it's sort of like Airbnb for cars. So people can put their cars up there and you can sign up and use it. Those are the two options that I have seen so far. Just make sure you're doing your research if you are planning on needing a car to drive around Alaska, which you probably are gonna need. Number three, mask wearing. Most of the places I've been to so far haven't really required you to have a mask on, but down here in Seward, I have been in a few places. The Sea Life Center and a couple of the tourist shops have requested that you wear a mask when you come into the stores. Make sure you are always carrying your mask with you. Number four, dress in layers. You never know when the weather might change by 20 degrees. It could get colder, it could get warmer. You wanna make sure you have tank tops and shorts as well as heavy puffy jackets and winter hats because the weather is quite often going to change. Number five, make sure you have some way to deal with mosquitoes. They jokingly call them the Alaskan state bird and boy, they are around if you're not careful. The closer you are to salt water, like I am right now in Seward, you really don't have to worry about them as much. But if you're gonna go up and hike on the um, mountains and be around the lakes and streams, you are going to have a lot of mosquitoes. Bring some good mosquito bug spray. Also, a tip that was given to me by one of the guides here is to wear lighter clothing. You wear like whites or tans or just a lighter color clothing. The mosquitoes are less attracted to that than they are to black or dark colors. If you are planning on taking advantage of any of the excursions, whether that's going on a fishing trip trip or going on a wildlife safari guide either out on the ocean or up into the mountains or you're going to do a flight a helicopter flight whatever you're doing on the excursions please be prepared to tip most of these employees are working off of the money that they make from the tips every summer and that is their main source of income make sure that if they give you a really good tour that you reward them with a really good tip in respect to COVID policies, at one point Alaska was requiring a COVID test to get into the state. As of February, Alaska is no longer requiring a COVID test or showing proof of vaccination to get into the state. You're good to go. You won't have to go through any hurdles at the airport like I had to last year. And you just have to wear that mask until you get out of the airport. One last thing to know about Alaska in 2021 is there are a lot 
of tourists here this year. There's pent up demand from the people who missed their trips last year and had to rebook for it this year, plus all the people who were already planning on coming for 2021 before COVID hit. It is double the amount of tourists that they would normally have this time of year. In fact, currently it's June 11th and this is the early season and they're already seeing record numbers of tourists which is crazy because they don't even have the cruise ships coming into the town. Just make sure you bring a healthy dose of patience and maybe lower those expectations and not get frustrated if you have to wait in lines or you might have to wait longer for food or it might be challenging to find a place to eat out without having a reservation. Keep all of those things in mind when you get here for your trip and you'll have a much more enjoyable vacation. I almost forgot one more bonus tip, and that is the Wi-Fi and cell phone service is not very good in Alaska. Maybe in the main thoroughfares, but even down here in Seward, it's not very good. Be prepared to be driving around with paper maps to get you around because you don't want to be dependent upon your GPS on your phone for directions, especially if you're going hiking. Make sure you have all of your 10 essentials for hiking, including a compass and a map. When you I hope that you guys get an opportunity to come and love Alaska as much as I do. It is a stunningly beautiful state with lots to do. And I'll soon be doing videos where I share some of my other adventures with you. Hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.